hello good morning I've got my glasses on today and I did some sad space buns this one's a little less sad than this one they looked better when I did them but this is where we're at today anyways from the title you know we're talking about books today today we're talking about two of in my opinion the best books that I have read on Kindle Unlimited thus far. And I've read quite a few, quite a few. Here is a little um, video of me that I took in the midst of reading these books. Enjoy. Behind the scenes cam, this is what I look like reading this book of happy tears, okay? Okay, so I wanted to show you that because that was my genuine emotion that I was feeling at the time with tears and all. Um, so it was pretty dramatic and they were happy tears at that point. And anyways, we're talking about a book today with those emotions involved. So thanks for being here. Welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. And now we're gonna chat about the book. So the books are Consider Me and Play With Me by Becca Mack. If you have Kindle Unlimited, they are free to read on Kindle Unlimited. I read them on my iPad or my phone, depending where I am and what's more convenient. And if my iPad's dead, then obviously I have to read on my phone. But anyways, either way is fine. If you have a Kindle, you can read it there. If you have a computer, you can read it there. All fine options. And I just realized like after buying books, cause I really like the feeling of an actual handheld book with the pages flipping and whatnot, that it costs a lot of money. And my mom had a Kindle Unlimited account already. So I asked her to leave me like, I think you have like 20 spaces in your library that you can have books downloaded. So I was like, can you just like leave me two please? Because she reads a lot. Anyways, Consider Me and Play With Me by Becca Mack on Kindle Unlimited. They are fantastic. Okay, so they are romance. So if you don't like romance, you're not gonna like these. They are romance. They are hockey players in them and then male hockey players with women, obviously. Um, both of them are enemies to lovers. Both of them are very spicy but both of them are also very emotional. Like, they made me cry, happy tears. Um, they made me sad, they made me happy, they made me like proud. There was like sports moments in there where you're just like happy for the characters in the book and that was awesome. It was just like feelings just like all over the place which is what I consider to be awesome when I read a book. Like, if you don't make me feel things, if you don't make me feel like I am inside of the book, then I do not consider it to be a, a good book. But these were 10 out of 10. And the way that Becca Mack like transitions between emotions is beautiful. It's just beautiful is all I have to say about it. She goes from like the hot and heavy sex scene moments and easily transitions into very happy emotional or sad emotional or proud emotional moments and vice versa. She can go back and forth so easily. So there's a lot of spice in it, but also a lot of love in it. And it's a romance. If you don't have love in a romance somewhere, is it really what you want in life? Is it really your fantasy? Not really, cause like, you know, like there's gotta be some sort of love involved or else it's like, that sounds fun, but like, is this long-term, you know, as a woman? Not all, but me personally would prefer like a long-term love inside of the romance. You know what I'm saying? And then like, besides that, just all of the emotion. It was really well written. There wasn't any mistakes that I noticed offhand. And I 
am quick to notice grammar mistakes or spelling mistakes for some reason. My mom was always like a stickler for grammar and spelling when I was in school. So for some reason I just noticed them and maybe everyone does, I don't know, but maybe some people don't. But if it annoys you, this one, I did not catch a single one in either book and they're both pretty long books. They were, there's a fuzz. They were like 460 pages give or take around there on my iPad. So I don't really know how many pages that is in a book, but it's longer than what they normally are. Um, most of the ones I've read are like 250 to 350 pages on my iPad. So this one is like a hundred more pages. So it's very descriptive, but not overly done. You know, when you read a book and like, there's like this many words describing like one feeling and you're like, Okay, we get it. Just reading a thousand words on this didn't make me understand it any better. This one's not like that. This one is very, it gives you just enough information to get the point across and to make you be able to feel it like you are that person or like you're talking about that person or whatever the circumstance may be in the book. But it's, it's just really good. And I wanted to tell you that. And this is another short little vid, but if you like books and you like romance and you don't mind a hockey situation, sporty situation, and you don't mind, and let me actually, if you don't mind any of that, you'll love this, but let me actually talk about the hockey thing. Like the, both of the main male characters in each book play hockey and it matters to the storyline but it's never like about sports necessarily. Like, yes, they play hockey, but we're not talking about the fact that they play hockey. We're talking about the fact that they play hockey and the way it affects their life, if that makes sense. And I like that. I've read a few books where the fact that they play the sport is basically the basis of the book that it, it like, goes around I guess like that's the center point of the book whereas this is an important detail and it comes into play quite often it's not what it's about does that make sense I think it makes sense anyways that's my review of this book again 10 out of 10 I loved it and I loved it enough to where I've read so many that this is the first one that I felt inclined to talk about to you on this platform and again, if you have Kindle Unlimited and you like romance, this book is for you. And it's an easy read, you know? It's a long read, the chapters are fairly long, um, which I don't always love because I'm not sitting down for, sometimes I do, but not always like hours at a time reading a book. So if, I ha if I'm like doing chores or whatever and I'm waiting for one thing to be done, then I wanna have like five to seven minute chapters so I can read them pretty quickly. But this one I didn't mind. There was a lot of like nice stopping points too because the chapters are longer. There was kind of breaks in between them to separate them a little bit. All the things mattered to what the chapter was about, but they were separated in a way where you could pause your reading and come back to it if you want to. And that's what I really enjoy because if I'm reading a book and I have to stop, but like, in two pages there's like a paragraph where it's split a little bit then I can read you know for 30 seconds or however long it takes to get there and then pause and for some reason for me that's a really important aspect of a book because I don't want to have to read for 30 more minutes to get to a stopping point point. and I'm pretty sure that's all I have to say <laughs> anyways I really really like this book I recommend you read it Becca Mack I hadn't read her books before. I think she's only got three. So these two that are a series, a different one. And then she's coming out with the third of this series in 2023. So read it. I dare you. Because if you're anything like me, you'll really enjoy it. Okay. Okay, love you. Thanks for watching. I hope you read it. If you do, let me know. If you haven't read it, but you have other books that I should read that are on Kindle Unlimited, let me know. I would love to read them. And anyways, I'm Emily. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.